How's it going everybody? I want to begin by apologizing for taking so long to release this video. Um, you know, one thing after another has come up over the past couple months. Um, the regional happened back in like October. Um, it is now the start of February. So it's been uh, a lot longer than what it should have been. But, um, you know, after the regional, um, I took a month off, you know, just from fishing and social media and things. Just, you know, kind of just kind of unwind transition into deer season things like that you know deer season kind of came and went my wife marissa had to have two surgeries in december and then you get into you know christmas new year's things like that and then i uh, got into you know trying to actually get back into piecing this thing together and i just had a hard time making an episode out of it um tournament went really poorly for me um both my boaters both days live scoped all day um never really let me just put it this way. Neither one of my boaters, I don't think, had anything figured out, even with the live scope. So we weren't ever really around many fish. So so it kind of felt like we were just chasing, you know, open, dead water all week. And uh, it just made it really tough. So anyway, I'm going to hop into the video now. And just, uh, like I said, I tried to salvage and kind of what I could from it. Mainly wanted to upload this just for my own, you know, memory and you know, just to have like that, you know, special video, at least kind of commemorating, you know, me going to the regional and things like that. So anyway, yeah, we're going to hop into it now. Quick start. No, no. <laughs> you don't count, bro. You don't count. <laughs>
in that group. Mm-hmm. They're all over out here. I mean, That's a small one or something. No, a small one. Yep. Small mouth ain't gonna be big enough. Ain't big enough, but oh shoot. I give you Where's he at? How's it going everybody? Day one here at the BFL Regional on Dale Hollow Lake is a wrap. Um, unfortunately, I never did catch a keeper today. I lost one. Um, I, it hit me on a jerk bait and uh, I w wasn't able to get good hook set in it. And just unfortunately it came off. And there's just no way I was gonna land that fish the way it hit. But uh, had a good boater, um, a great time down here. Uh, weights are pretty low. So, you know, a good day tomorrow could put me right back up in the money range. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But uh, thank everybody for following along this season. Can't thank you enough. And also, too, I want to thank my primary sponsor this year, Flying Swine Seasons, for helping me out. And uh, make sure you check them out at flyingswineseasons.com. And you guys can use promo code done for 10 to receive 10% off one of your orders. So, again, thank you guys. Uh, we'll just have to go out there tomorrow and see what we can make happen. So, stay tuned. So, anyway, nothing happened day one. Um, you know, it's kind of a shame. My boater, you know, he's an older gentleman from Alabama. He's used to throwing a spinner bait up against, you know, muddy river banks and things like that. And uh, he felt like he had to live scope in order to win that tournament and uh he honestly wasn't familiar with it and you know definitely as a co-angler you're already in a disadvantage so you know then that really puts you in advantage you know if they're trying a new technique that they're not used to or things like that and um you know i'm not one of them guys i'm not against live scope i'm really not um i definitely think you know at some point there might have to be some limitations on it i don't know but that's a video for another time but but you know he had to do what he felt like he could win and uh you know it that wasn't it so um but anyway um like i said that was it for day one um going into day two it really don't get much better and i really ain't got a ton of footage from it um because i i'll be honest guys when i knew that we were live scoping and like he let me stand you know in the seating area not a lot but just a couple times just to check out the live scope to see what he was throwing at 
and I don't have a live scope. I'm not a big live scope guy, but I do know enough that I think a lot of the fish we were chasing weren't bass. So, you know, I, you know, when we're out there, I think we're chasing, you know, like little white bass and things like that. You know, there are probably some largemouth, you know, definitely mixed in with them, but I don't think, uh, I don't think that, you know, the schools that we were actually chasing were, you know, scorable fish to begin with. So, so I didn't turn the GoPro on much. I think there's just a couple minutes of footage here, so I'll go ahead and roll that. So in closing guys you know i do apologize again for taking so long to get this video out you know it's um probably the longest i've gone on the channel from filming the video to actually releasing the video and i definitely don't want that to become a habit um you know i just yeah it's just it's taking time like i said one thing after another has come up and this dang bird is super loud so i hope you guys can hear me over that but um yeah so one thing is this you know after another's happened and prevented me from releasing it so here it is finally um now i got another bird starting up over here it's crazy but um so yeah so i appreciate you guys for being faithful followers of the channel and for uh sticking with me you know all these years and uh hopefully this year we can release some more content um i am scaling back my tournament schedule some instead of fishing the two divisions i'm only fishing the ldl division as a co-angler and i've got a good reason for that and uh we'll release that in another video so hopefully uh you know you guys aren't disappointed by that um if something happens you know some sponsorship money comes in you know something and you know i'm not fishing it let me back up a little bit i'm not fishing it due to finances i'm fishing it due to needing more saturdays available um for this year um this ain't gonna be a permanent thing but it's just you know for you know in the now that's what i have to do um but you know if a sponsor comes along is like hey you know we'd really like you to fish the line eye as well then i will do it um but right now i'm going to be focusing on you know the five lbl tournaments and then uh there's like a little local circuit we do like in the spring and the summer where we have like a tuesday night tournament deal um just rotate different lakes and uh, hoping to do that so um yeah that's pretty much it guys so for now I will catch you next time and uh, see what happens this year. So stay, stay tuned. God bless you. See you next time.